uh, about the noise uh, IQ demodulation. Uh, some of we, uh, some of us might not be familiar with this, but just to remind you, an integrator, right, is integration in time domain, but it is one over s in the frequency domain. Okay. So here shows an example of the integrator. Uh, I, I don't require you to, to review this. I just want to, how about this? I say I'm not going to test anything regarding to IQ demodulation. But uh, you guys uh, pay attention still, okay? So, so, I mean, just for your further information, right? we can use the op M to create an integration. The integration is not in the frequency do domain, it's one over S, right? Then I just want to say, how do we do this uh, demodulation uh, to get the IQ plot? So remember the story was that actually is this one, but I don't have time to go over this. I just go ask you to go home to study this paper if you're interested. But the whole thing is what, why we're doing this. I taught you how to do impedance matching when the input, when the, for this uh, refractometry, gate refractometry measurement, uh, the gate has a very large input impedance. We try to do the, uh, how do you say, transformation to convert maybe from 50 kilo ohm to 50 ohm, right? Through this L method or C method, right? And I spend time to talk about this, then you should know that it is important, right? We talk about this L method and C method, right? But I don't have time to talk about this, but it is important. So we do this, right? And then we talk about the LNA. In this paper, they use the common source cascode with inductive degeneration. That's why we spend so much time to talk about that. Of course, there is more complicated, have a lot of innovation, which I don't understand also for some of them, right? But the idea is this. You should have microwave pulse to this. Now you impedance match already. You already know how to do it, right? We did in, uh, in the uh, example. And then you're going to reflect back. Depending on the qubit state, whether it's zero or one, then we go through the LNA and we try to uh, detect how much phase shift. But how do we detect it? This is the last part I'm trying to talk about today, IQ demodulation, right? So let me draw the circuits again. You have this qubit, right? We're using gate uh, refractometry. This guy, uh, give us delta C depending on whether it's zero or one state, right? And we have this LM. This is for the impedance matching. You should be, you should know how to find LM if I give you the impedance of the gate, okay? And then you should also know how to find this CM to cancel the imaginary part, right? This, you all know how to design. Then this guy will go to LNA, and you get the signal. And what you are doing is that you should have pulsed to here, and then it got refactored. The LNA is going to amplify it. So after this LNA, right? So after LNA, your signal will go through a mixer. Okay, which will mix it with a local oscillator. But here we have a 90 degree phase shift, pi over two at the bottom. Okay, I will explain more. So what does it mean? It means here I'm going to generate psi omega t, but here I'm going to generate cosine omega t because of the 90 degree phase shift, right? We will then go through a low pass filter. And this will give my give, give me so, the so-called quadrature, uh, uh, the, the I parts and the Q part. Uh, look at this. This is exactly what it's doing here. Mixer, low pass filter, right? And then use DAC analog to digital converter, then you get the digital signal. You use your computer to process the signal. It seems something like that. So my goal here is to tell you how, how does this work, how you can get something. So the signal come in as A of T cosine 
omega t plus five. This five is the phase shift, right? So if you call this one, then this is one. Okay, you continue from here. This phase shift depends on whether you are zero or one, right? So you have a five, right? So I want to detect this five. So what is that? So after the mixer, let's look at the, uh, which part should we, I part first, right? So I'll, if we look at here is VI, it's a voltage. This is QI, uh, no, VQ. QI, right? Uh, no, VQ, sorry. It's two voltage, right? So let's look at VI. What is VI? Now, a low pass filter is just an integrator. That's what I'm trying to say there and kind of forgot my purpose. Where do I, is the low pass filter? Anyway, low pass the, is the integrator, right? So what do we do? So you try to integrate it from a certain time to the period of the, the local oscillator. So you have A cosine <coughs> omega tau plus phi times sine omega tau d tau. Right, so what, and then uh, if you just uh, do the math right, it is like this. So what am I doing here? This is the mixer. Right, it's talking about this part. After this part, you get this expression. Mix, mixer, you just de de design it so that you multiply the two function. They do this through the linearity of the dial or transistor, right? High quadratic term, right? <laughs> Once you get this part, you go through the low pass filter. So called low pass filter is just an integrator. Okay? So you go through the math. Uh, because of time, I just jumped a step. You just go through the trigonometry. You will see this is equals to A divided by 2 sine 2 omega t plus phi minus sine phi theta. Now, what? Omega tau, thank you. So this is a rapid oscillating sine wave. After you integrate for many period, what will happen to this? Just zero, right? Because you keep repeating many, FH will be zero. Right? And this is the part of the integrator, right? This part, zero, is the low pass filter. So all you have after this is just equals to t to t plus time uh, period, a over two, Uh, no, sorry. Uh, no, I mean, when that, that one is gone, then I only have T divided by T and then A of, yeah, bracket, sorry. You're right. A over 2 and then times T because this is the whole, uh, this is a constant. Sci fi is a constant, right? So this one will give me. Uh, and a negative will give me negative a sine phi. So what we are doing here is that we have this rapid oscillating term integrate to zero. This term is kind of constant. I assume a is constant because it's pretty slow. This is the envelope of the uh, sine wave, right? So what we what we come in maybe let me be you may get something like this. Right? This is A of T. So for over a few periods, they are pretty much constant. 
Okay, so that's why you have this one. Okay? What do you mean T? This T? Yeah, because I'm integrating from small t to small t plus capital T. So this one minus this one give me capital T. The period, multiple of the period. Just integration, right? X from x0 to x1, if you integrate a constant, it's the constant times x1 yeah, minus x0. So mm -hmm. say, say again, there's what? No, psi phi is constant. And I assume A is uh, very slowly, so it's approximately constant. This term is gone. This is constant. Okay. Okay, so uh, because of time, right, then you will, but you see this already, right? After integration, I get A and also get phi. Phi depends on the qubit state. For the other part, the quadrature term, you have something similar, but this time, what you are doing is you mix it with cosine omega t. Right? Here you mix it with psi, but now you mix it with cosine. Okay? So you go through the math similarly, you will get this one equal to a cosine phi. So as a summary, I have two, two terms, right? I have uh, vi proportional to a psi phi. I have vq proportional to a cosine phi. So I do the measurement, I get v and q. Then from here, I can get the magnitude of a, which is equal to square root vi square plus vq square, right? I can also get phi, which is equals to, yeah, so there are a, a several way to do that. I either use a, a tangent, right? Or a cosine, a tangent. So that will be vi over vq. Now, if you read this signal, you plot into this IQ plot, what, what we call the IQ plot, IQ plot, right? This is plotting VQ. This is plotting VI. Mm, okay. Doesn't matter, doesn't, that's okay. Uh, then, what do you get? You may get a constant, right? Maybe here, right? You get a point here, this one, is VQ, and this one is VI. And I, as we said, VI divided by VQ give me the phi, right? And this is the A, right? Now this phi might the phi due to state one. I have another phi. Maybe it is like this, phi zero it actually may give me this. This is due to state zero because we already see that the phase got shift, but the amplitude won't, right? So they have the same amplitude. So by looking at this, isn't that I can distinguish zero and one? But however, due to noise, sometimes you have this surrounding them because of noise. Yeah? But if you design it well so that the phase shift is large enough, like in this paper, 12.5 degree, I have forgot how much. Then even you have noise, you just draw a line, you say that I do calibration. As long as you are above this plane, it is zero. As long as you're below this plane, it is one, for example. Then when I got a measurement, let's say you end up at this point, I say, okay, QP is in state one. If it is here, QP is still in state one. But if it's here, I say it is at zero. Of course, there are lots of error, right? So that's why the readout fidelity is one big issue nowadays also uh, for, for many experiments. But the point is that this phi zero plus phi one is equal to the delta phi mentioned in that paper. Okay, so that is what I want to say uh, for this semester, right? So. Uh, if you connect with E274, you have a better idea how we do the 
everything, right? But some of you did not take it, uh, are not taking it neither. Okay, but you see that in this cryogenic class, we learn many things that you have already learned. We just repeat with low temperature and low, low physics, real physics, right? So if in the future, quantum computing is go, really going to uh, become important, right? Have a lot of job opportunity. All of you can just jump into that job, job market because they need a lot of electrical engineer. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure the physics people, they just, again, they contribute to everything, but they cannot find job as easy as you got. So you do a good job in your RF, in your circuit design, in your physics, device physics, you can have even more opportunities. Okay. So as